Oh. We walk out and wait. <laughs> We're about to call Josh right now. It's Josh. Hey, this is uh, Brett Veach from the Kansas City Chiefs. How you doing? Nick. Hey, is this Creed? So look, we picked up an Oklahoma tackle. We figured we'd pick up an Oklahoma center. You cool with that? Well, listen, we're going to turn your name here pretty soon. Just want to, um, to give you a heads up, all right? You know, for us, free agency and the NFL draft, they, they kind of work hand in hand. And I think every year when we approach free agency, we have two goals in mind. One, obviously, add great talent to this roster. But, but two, provide ourselves with flexibility so that we can really um, maintain that idea of picking the best player available. Good. Every round it, it is certainly important. I think our, our personnel staff takes a lot of pride in that, that, yeah, we're gonna really put a lot of time and effort into this draft and make sure that every player on this team um, is, is pushing to be the best they can be. Very unusual trade between AFC contenders the Ravens and Chiefs completed a very significant deal that impacts Thursday night and the future of both franchises. The Baltimore Ravens trade Orlando Brown to Kansas City. I just think that they are a team that leaves no stone unturned. And I think this is clearly their plan when you go back and look. Okay. Oh, there you go. Are you taping? <laughs> Slow motion. What's up, bro? How you doing, man? Good to see Welcome you, Welcome to Kansas City. Yes, sir. Dude. Appreciate it, man. They say you're the old line guy. So yeah, I'm it. They say you Let's see how you do line. Kodiak. We'll get you up big and tall. <laughs> <laughs> High man wins in, uh, in my book. Yeah, yeah that's funny. Uh, how you doing? I'm Orlando. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. You too. Yeah, he was telling me all about you. Yeah. I heard you, you were really into NASCAR. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, yeah, you know, yeah. A little. I don't know much about racing. I got a '69 Chevelle SS 396. We'll but, see what you got. Yeah, but I don't, I don't race though. I, I, I think I could drive fast. I don't know fast, how we're gonna get in this thing. We're gonna yeah. figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Obviously, with the history that this franchise has. To have an opportunity to be a part of that as an offensive lineman and a left tackle is very special. You know, to be able to come here and play with someone like Patrick Mahomes, someone like Travis Kelsey, someone like Tyreek Hill, it's a lot of talent here and it's a lot of uh, dogs. And, you know, I'm super excited to be a part of that. What's the tallest NASCAR driver? Uh, You're it. <laughs> <laughs> if the steering wheel doesn't move, hey, we might be. Oh, let's see. Even Baltimore was honestly one of the hardest things I, I've ever had to do. How fast these things go? At Kansas, you're going to run 190, 195. Wow. You know, it, it, it was it was an incredible experience. Uh, you know, if I ever will hold a special place in my heart, being born and raised in Baltimore, born in John Hopkins, you know what I mean, growing up in Baltimore County. Wow, so I got to shift it myself? Yeah. Oh, wow, this is real racing. <laughs> I'm here to, to get my job done at the highest level. And, you know, my plans and aspirations is I want to be a Hall of Fame football player someday. And, that's a goal I set for myself as a young child, and I'm in this position now, and I, I really look forward to taking advantage of it here, being a chief. Look at you, man. How natural. I can't believe we got him in there. Yeah, no, I didn't think I could fit in here. I told him he could fit in here. I'm so blessed and I'm so happy to be here, to have the opportunity to play for a franchise like this that's winning with a great quarterback and great coaches and just a great front office and, and, and owner. You know, I'm gonna give it everything I got each and every day to go out here and compete and win as many games as possible. And I'm gonna make sure no one in this world touches Pat Mahomes. Man, this is nerve wracking. <laughs> I, could, I couldn't imagine having to do this in real life though. Like this is... You picked it up as fast as I've ever seen anybody. Bang down foot, step inside, just keep him there. Jump. Nice. See, that was a great play right there. I mean, he's like fade inside out. He finishes all the way around. I'm here at the 2021 draft to uh, get the opportunity to see who our second round draft pick is going to be. Um, but I'm sort of critiquing our trade, what we did with Orlando Brown Jr. He's sort of our first round pick right now. And so I get a chance to break down some film here and see what he's doing. So they did show he could pull a little bit. <laughs> right now what I'm looking at is just seeing how he actually balances his stance, what he does, how he does it, how he moves, you know, can he bend his body, those kind of things. And you know, what I see here is potential, potential, potential. That's one thing you wanna see is a guy that really has just begun to sort of grow into what he wants to be and how he wants to be as a football player. Right there, just cleaning the clock, going back across. 
those are those are great heads up play hustle plays after the fact and so once you can get him settled into this is your guy block your guy he's perfect i think once he gets here and and starts getting his uh feelings of what's going on i think he's gonna he's, he's really a great great steal for us right now getting us ready for another super bowl run I just don't want to mess up somebody's name. That would be my, the hardest thing for me to be nervous about. Please welcome from the University of Nebraska, 12-time Pro Bowler, But I think the hard job is the guys that's got to actually go and put that, put that pick in and know that that's going to be somebody that they're going to give an opportunity to change their lives. With the 58th pick in the 2000 and 2021 NFL Draft, the Kansas City Chiefs select Nick Bolton, linebacker, University of Missouri. It should go pretty fast, though. Yeah. Yeah, as you look at, yeah. I thought they, honestly, I thought they'd be shorter. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I was worried that they'd be like 30. You know. This is the most vital year for pro days, I think. Typically, it's you know starts with measurements, weigh-ins, arm length, wingspan, those type of things. Moving on to the bench, the jumps. When you're at the pro day, it's just you can get a lot by just watching a guy the entire day. These guys have had a lot of time to prepare, and most you know do a good. They go to these training sites and then are ready. Um, so the first thing, just from a competitiveness, um, conditioning, you know, body comp, you know, have they been doing the right things to get themselves ready? and you know, end up having a good day. It's just, it's, it's consistent evaluation. Pro Day can help you out a lot. Are uh, you out there and you have a, a great performance, it, it can boost your draft stock. My mind says I'm just trying to showcase everybody uh, that I can run, um, that I can, I can, I'm still an agile athlete. Most people are trying to say uh, that I did not run, I wouldn't run as fast. So I uh, just going out there, just trying to showcase my speed and my ability to compete. That's kind of the two biggest things I wanted to do. Down and up, let's go, let's go. Really, the pro days are the final piece of the puzzle. Most of the legwork has been done. So really, when our guys go into the pro day, they're just making sure the guys are, are healthy, they're in shape, and, and most importantly, double check all the, the verified measurables that he's recorded. Uh, you know, if a guy tested really well, or, or maybe if a guy tested poorly, it'll certainly be a follow-up call. And then once we get together before the draft, we'll discuss it as a group. My first, first, uh, first timing day in about Year. Over a year. <laughs> the most probably uh, nerve-wracking, if you will, or had the most eyes was the individual drills. Around the cone. I went kind of early, so everybody else was just watching you. Go around it, come up under it here, under control. All right. Then run and finish through again. The information gathering process, I mean, it starts sometimes, you know, two, three years before these guys are even eligible. I mean, you learn about these guys in high school, you hear about them, you watch them on tape while you're watching another guy. Um, you try to get little nuggets here and there, so by the time they're you know draft eligible, you kind of have a feel for you know what, who they are, you know, as a, not only a player as a person. Yeah, that's what, I mean, I, I literally, I mean, I, this is the first time seeing them, you know, visiting. I mean, just watching tape for two years and you just haven't been able to match the body type. There's only five bags, you and the position coach. You got everybody watching as you go through drills, so you make sure you don't have any false steps, make sure you're trying to check every box in your head uh, as you're going. Uh, but that was also a great experience. I've been around the type of, uh, of coaches. Uh, it was one of a lifetime experience. Shoot. Yeah, yeah. A different athlete, different kind of speed. Um, kind of similar twitch, though, similar quickness, you know? I think he was, like, he was a three-star recruit, I think, you know? There was a lot of buzz around him. And you got his opportunity and you made the most of it. From a rewarding standpoint is, you know, scouting a player, you take that player and he ends up, you know, becoming that guy. When you see it all kind of come together, it's, uh, it's very rewarding. 2021 NFL Draft, the Kansas City Chiefs select Nick Bolton, Creed Humphrey, Josh Kando, Noah Gray, tight end, Duke. To be a Chief, I'm so thankful. A program like this took a chance on me. I feel like I have the opportunity of a lifetime right now. Yeah, that's it. 
shit good. You know, just being able to run up the steps and run onto the practice field uh, for the first time and just thank God, like, just took a moment to take it all in. But, you know, once you hit the field, it's all business, it's all work. <laughs> That's it. Being in college and watching them work on the field is thinking, man, if I got to play with the Chiefs, that'd be amazing. <laughs> that here I am now, it's a surreal feeling. When I was flying to Kansas City, I was like, wow, like I'm really going to, to play at the professional level. But as soon as I landed, I knew that was kind of just time to get to work. It's obviously a blessing to get to step into the league and snap it to uh, you know the best quarterback in the league. So uh, that's a great feeling. And uh, you know, I just can't wait to get to work with him. I want to become an impact player on this team. No. Just coming in here and uh, trying to grab a role and, and hang on to it. I have a goal in mind. I'm trying to destroy the person in front of me. I'm not playing any games. I'm trying to be the most violent person on the field. I'm trying to put myself in position to help our team win. I just kind of the end goal of 2021 is what I want to do. I want to be part of winning team, winning culture. I want to be a part of that. Let's go. If I beat your ass there, we got a problem.